Hello students, in this video we will discuss stability of four wheel drive when moving in a curved path by taking one example. Example is a four wheeled motor car of mass 2000 kg, so W is equal to 2000 into 9.81 Newton, has a wheel base 2.5 meter, so Y is equal to 2.5 meter, this distance is given 2.5 meter, track width 1.5 meter, so track width this X is given 1.5 meter and height of center of gravity is 500 mm above the ground, ground level so this height h is given 500 mm so i have written 0.5 meter and lies at 1 meter from the front axle now in this particular case center of gravity is not lying at the exactly at the middle of these two axles but it is nearer to this front axle and its distance is given 1 meter because if this distance is 1 meter, this is given 1 meter, then total distance is 2.5 meter. So this distance will be 1.5 meter. So I am representing this distance from this front axle to the center of gravity as A and center of gravity to rear axle as B. So these two values are given A is equal to 1.5 meter, 1 meter and B is equal to 1.5 meter. Each wheel has an effective diameter of 0.8 meter. So diameter of wheel is given 0.8 meter. So radius of wheel will be half of that 0.4 meter. And a moment of inertia of 0.8 kg meter square. So moment of inertia of each wheel is given IW is 0.8 kg meter square. The drive shaft, engine flywheel and transmission are rotating at four times the speed of road wheel. So this is G which is given as 4 gear ratio omega E divided by omega W is equal to given 4 in a clockwise direction when viewed from the front. So in this case drive shaft, engine flywheel and transmission are rotating about an axis which is perpendicular to the axle. So engines, uh, engine, is, is, engine is rotating about this axis. So this is an axis about which this engine parts are rotating and direction of rotation is clockwise when viewed from the front. When viewed from the this front side, these two are front wheels, these two are rear wheels. So when you look from this front side, direction of rotation is clockwise. So this is what I have drawn here. So this direction, this is a clockwise direction when viewed from the front side and is equivalent to a mass of 75 kg, the mass of drive shaft, engine flywheel, transmission, etc. is equivalent to 7.5 kg and, and having a radius of gyration of 100 mm. From this, you can calculate IE, which is equal to mk square. This is m and this is your k. So this I have calculated m is equal to 75 and k 0.1 in meters. This 100 mm is converted to meters, so 0.1 square. So you will get moment of inertia of engine parts as 0.75 kg meter square. If the car is taking a right turn of 60 meter radius, so car is taking a right turn here. So and radius is 60 meter. So r is equal to 60 meter and 60 kilometer by velocity is given v is equal to 60 kilometer per hour which i have converted to meter per second mm, kilometer 1000 multiply 1000 to convert it into meters and hour convert this into seconds by dividing 3600 so you are getting velocity as 16.67 meter per second in my previous video i explained this table and according to this table uh, each of the four wheels take equal load this is valid when the center of gravity is exactly at the center of the vehicle. But now in this particular case, the center of gravity is nearer to the front axle and therefore this 1 and 2 will take more load compared to 3 and 4. So what you get here in 1 and 2 will be more compared to W by 4 and in these two cases, 3 and 4, this will take lesser weight reaction due to gyroscopic couple here cg is actually sum of cg1 and cg2 where cg1 is gyroscopic effect because of these four wheels cg2 is gyroscopic couple because of this ro engine rotating parts now this is valid when this engine rotating parts are rotating about an axis which is parallel to this axles now in this particular case engine rotating parts are rotating in an axis which is perpendicular to the axle. So it is not parallel to the axle and therefore you have to analyze this separately. 
so you have to make this cg into two components so reaction due to gyroscopic couple first because of four wheels and an another you have to take because of reaction due to gyroscopic couple because of this engine parts now there will be no effect on centrifugal force the, uh, these reactions will remain same total reaction will also change because these values will change this this values these all four values will change and you have to include one more reaction due to gyroscopic effect in that way total reaction will also change so our table will look like here so we have to calculate reactions due to weight in each of the four wheels different and similarly i have included one more column here for reaction due to gyroscopic couple because of engine now for wheel it is exactly similar to what we have discussed before the only change is in place of cg i have written cg1 so this is gyroscopic couple because of four wheels only so here we will take gyroscopic couple because of engine rotating parts this remains same so let's start first reactions now first reaction due to weight so when you draw side view of this when you draw side view of this when you look from this side so 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 in in this way you it will appear so 1 and 2 here first is this wheel is 1 behind this wheel wheel 2 is there this wheel is 3 and behind that wheel is 4 now this w is this is w which is nearer to this this one nearer to center of 1 so this is nearer to center of 1 so a and b these values are known now w is known we know that reactions in r r1 and r2 will be wb divided by 2 into a plus b and r3 reaction on r3 and r4 reaction r3 and r4 will be wa divided by 2 a plus b this values from this two equations you can calculate all these reactions so r1 and r2 uh, reactions on this front two front wheels will be equal to 2000 weight in 2000 into 9.81 is weight and b is 1.5 b we have taken here 1.5 meter divided by 2 divided 2 into 2.5 which is a plus b 1 on 1.5 so 2 into 2.5 if you calculate this you will get value of 5886 newton similarly r3 and r4 you can calculate this is weight 2000 into 9.81 into 1 a is 1 and divided by same 2 into 2.5 so you are getting 3924 newton in this case now you can populate your table here so in table i have written front two wheels in front two wheels reaction is 5886 5886 and rear two wheels reaction will be 3924 3924 all will be positive because we know that reaction reactions due to weight will always be positive now next we will calculate cg1 so cg1 by 2x so cg1 is gyroscopic couple because of four wheels and this is equal to i omega omega p the same formula but here we have four wheels so this become four times i omega omega p where i is moment of inertia of wheel and omega is omega w is moment uh, angular velocity of wheel so this we can calculate i omega i w is already given 0.8 kg meter square now omega w can be calculated using formula v divided by r w now v is known 16.67 meter per second divided by r w is given 0.4 meter from this you are getting omega w as 41.68 radian per second now next omega p can be obtained from the relation v divided by capital r so v is 16.67 and capital r is 60 meter from that equation you will get omega p as 0.28 radian per second so cg1 you can calculate 4 4 times 0.8 iw into 41.68 into 0.28 so you are getting 37.35 newton meter so this is cg1 now you require cg1 divided by 2x which is equal to 37.35 divided by 2 into x this x this distance is given 1.5 this 1.5 meter is given so from this equation you are getting this value as 12.45 newton now you can fill the second column so second column 12.45 all will be 12.45 but this is negative for inner wheels 
two inner wheels, two and four. These values will be negative, so 12.45 in minus and 12.45 in minus and other two will be positive. In this way, you got this all the values in second column. Now we will calculate this fourth column, CC by 2X. CC by 2X. So centrifugal couple is, we know that this centrifugal couple is MV square by R. This is centrifugal force into H distance. So this total is centrifugal couple and this couple can be calculated. Mass is 2000. Velocity is 16.67, so 16.67 square into h is 0 0.5 meter, h is 0 0.5 meter and divided by r, capital R is equal to 60. When you calculate this, you will get 4631.5 Newton meter. So cc by 2x will be 4631.5 divided by 2 into 1.5. So x is equal to 1.5, this value of x is given 1.5 meter. So from that you will get 1543.83 Newton. Now once you get this, fourth column can be populated. In each cell you can write 1543.83 in each cell. But these two values for inner wheels, two inner wheels, second and four, this value will be negative and for outer wheels this value will be positive. So in this way you have populated this fourth column. Now remaining is reaction due to gyroscopic couple because of engine. Now, when you look from the front side, when you look from front side, this is rotating in clockwise direction. So, from right hand screw rule, when you use right hand screw in, and rotate right hand screw in clockwise direction, it will move downward. So, this will be the direction of initial momentum. So, this is the direction of initial momentum of this rotating part, engine rotating part. When it takes turn, so I, let's draw this in horizontal, uh, in horizontal plane. So, this is the direction of your initial momentum. Now when this vehicle moves in right direction, so if when it moves right direction, so this value, so this arrow will point like this in this manner. So this will be your final momentum or next momentum during turning of this vehicle. So I have drawn this momentum here like exactly like this in this direction. So this direction I have drawn. So from last point of first vector to last point of second vector that will be your active direction of active gyroscopic couple. So this is the direction of active gyroscopic couple and just opposite to this will be your direction of reactive gyroscopic couple. Now this is actually change in momentum, change in angular momentum which is proportional to your couple. Now this reactive gyroscopic couple is pointing towards this direction. So when reactive gyroscopic couple vector is in horizontal plane then that couple must be acting in a vertical plane and that vertical plane must be perpendicular to this couple. So here the couple direction is this one, uh, reactive gyroscopic couple direction is this one. So plane will be perpendicular and mm, per perpendicular plane, vertical plane and that plane is perpendicular to this vector. So I have shown th this vector here in this plane. So this is uh, my vector. Now to get this vector. The, you have to apply one couple in this plane which should be clockwise when looking from this side because the, if you rotate a right, right hand screw in clockwise direction you will get this direction of the vector so uh, this is a um, this is a vertical plane so in this plane you can you will get side view of this vehicle so i have drawn side view so i have drawn side view and in this side view in this side view this couple is in clockwise direction so this couple is in clockwise direction cg2 i have named this couple as cg2 now you can uh, you can determine reactions ra and rb now ra is actually reaction uh, sum of reactions of 1 and 2 and rb is sum of reactions in 3 and 4 ra and rb can be calculated using equations of equilibrium so sigma fy is equal to 0 ra plus rb is equal to 0 and sigma ma is equal to 0 about moment take moment about this point so moment of ra will become 0 and there there is one couple which is clockwise couple cg2 so this is positive cg2 and this is one anti clockwise couple so rb into y so rb into y anti clockwise that's why i have taken here minus is equal to 0. From this equation you will get, get value of Rb is equal to Cg2 upon y and Ra is equal to minus Cg2 divided by y because when you put this value of Rb here you will get Ra minus Cg2 by y. Once you get Ra and Rb, Ra and Rb you can calculate R1, R1, R2, R3 and R4. So R1 and R2 is equal to half of, e, uh, half of this C minus Cg2 divided by 2y 
so this one r a by 2 uh, similarly r 3 and r 4 both will be equal and equal to half of the r b divide r, half of the r b that is cg 2 upon 2 y so once you get this you can cal now you can calculate cg 2 which is equal to i omega omega p so i e for engine omega e for engine and omega p I is given, value of I is equal to 0 0.75 kg meter square. Omega E is not directly given, but from gear ratio, you can calculate omega E, which is equal to G into omega W. So, 4 into omega W. So, I have written here I E G omega W into omega P. Now, put all these values here. Omega W we have calculated already. So, you don't need to calculate once again. Same value 41.68 you can keep here and similarly omega p also you can keep this value here. So if you calculate this value you will get cg2 as equal to 35 newton meter. Once you get cg2 you can calculate cg2 divided by 2y which is equal to cg2 divided by 2 into y, y is equal to 2.5 meter. When you calculate this you are getting minus 7 newton. So 1 and 2 for uh, for wheel 1 and 2 you are getting negative negative minus 7 and R3 and R4 for rear wheels you are getting positive values as 7 Newton. Now, now you can populate your table. So in this table minus CG2 upon 2Y these two are negative and these two are positive. These two are front wheels and these two are rear wheels. So these values are 7 for all the four wheels. Once you get all these values you can sum all these uh, values in a row. So this is 588, 5886. So 12.45 plus 12.45 minus 7 minus 7 plus 1543.83. So finally you are getting in wheel 1 reaction as 7431 Newton. In similar manner you will get reactions in other wheels 4323 in wheel number 2 and in wheel number 3 you will get 5487 and wheel number 4 you are getting 2374 Newton. So this is... Uh, this 7 is extra. Actually, you are getting 2374 Newton in this material. So, lowest uh, reaction you are getting in uh, wheel number 4, which is um, inner wheel and rear wheel. So, inner rear wheel 4 is where you are getting lowest, uh, lowest reaction. But all reactions are positive. Therefore, this particular vehicle during this turning motion, it is stable. Thank you for watching this video.